Hi travelers, this is a going to be a full moon reading and for those of you who have been with me a while you know that I don't normally like to um, lay the cards without you seeing me do that but the reason I, I laid this spread because I wanted to see if these cards were going to be willing to work with me today. Um, they've kind of been on a break and um, I laid them down because I was guided to use this particular deck and this is the Impressionist Tarot. Um, and when I lay the cards, it was quite an interesting story. So I'm, I'm going to, I feel that for some of you, you need to hear this. Uh, there may be some messages in here for someone out there who really needs to hear it. Um, we are under the, uh, full moon watch. The full moon will be occurring in Pisces. Um, Pisces rules, uh, the unconscious, the subconscious, spiritual psychic events it rules hospitals prisons um, care facilities uh, a lot of nurses we find that a lot of people in the healing uh, industries uh, have uh, are either heavily Pisces or have a heavy Pisces signature within their chart uh, it is the 12th house ruled by the moon um, so the moon will be in its natural house and this is usually very very important I always try to caution not to make any decisions if you can around a full moon because it's a highly emotional time. There will not be any clarity around whatever situation that you may find yourself in. Um, and so it's the moon is the fastest moving body of all the planets. So every 2.4, 2.5 days, it changes signs. So it will be changing. So by Tuesday, um, perhaps you will have a bit more clarity. Uh, if you are a bit confused right now or, or uh, missing some information. Um, the moon will be opposite the sun. The sun is in Virgo. Um, so happy birthday, Virgo suns. Um, Virgo is about work, service, and duty to others, but also to yourself. So, you know, it's about um, mind body and spirit this is about looking after yourself and always so that you can do the best job that you can do in whatever manner that means for you now i'm going to read this spread for you and i'm going to pull uh, a few la vida sabilas then i'm going to pick the cards up and ask uh another question surrounding this but basically what i'm getting here i have um one two three major arcana cards and let me show them to you there is the Empress. Here is the Tower card. And then here is the Lovers. Now, whatever this is, there's, there's a lot of heat and passion behind it. Now, passion can be a, a, in the context of love and romance, but also anger is... Uh, an emotion that is associated with passion. Um, fear can be associated with passion. It's something that grips you. That's really what passion is. Something that grips you uh, and kind of has its way with you. Maybe tossing and turning. Now I have one, two, three, four court cards here. So what I'm going to do is show you the whole spread. We have the Knight of Coins. You just saw the Empress. Here is the Nine of Swords. We have the Six of Wands. You saw the Tower card. Here is the Page of Swords. Here is the Knight of Cups. Then we have a Queen of Coins. And then we end the reading with a um, with the lovers card. Now, right in the center, we have we find ourselves here uh, presented with this tower card. And in no matter which tarot deck that you are using, uh, the tower is the only man-made structure in a deck of cards. Okay, and it represents. Um, those structures that we have built up for ourselves, that we have been maintaining, uh, perhaps that we find our safety and security in, um, but that at some point something will come in to change and it will challenge us. Um, and perhaps those structures that we have built up, and this could be literal structures as well, 
will be torn down. So sometimes, sometimes, particularly this is showing up underneath the um, Pisces moon. I have seen that aspect where it's uh, the moon in Pisces with Uranus, and that's what Uranus, uh, the tower, represents. To be something like a sudden flood, like your pipes may be bursting in your house. Um, something unexpected to do with water, leaks, something of that nature. Um, <clears throat> that I'm putting forth first. But the idea of the tower is simply that eventually things that have been standing for quite some time will tend to decay and can and do oftentimes crumble, right? With this particular empress over the top of this um, tower card, what I'm picking up for some of you is that this is an idea about changing values, okay, and a changing value system. Uh, and for many of you, um, it has to do with both finances and the idea of what you feel as though you're worth, right? Or, or how are you uh, really embodying the energy of what you are worth? So this could be the idea that you've been working in a job where you're not getting paid what you, what you really deserve. Um, this could also be the idea that um, maybe things are not going well for you at the moment and you're feeling rather um, worthless, okay? Nine of Swords. Now, past, present, future, past, present, future, interplay of the cards. And I do feel for some of you there has been some kind of financial news coming in, okay? Or at least some kind of... Um, momentum in terms of moving forward in in um, building up more worth and more equity and basically it's it's I feel for some of you this is really strictly purely a financial issue now you've been with me for a while and I have been talking to you since last year about Uranus in Taurus and explaining to you that Uranus uh, is a very chaotic energy, expect the unexpected. So this is really fluctuations and wild fluctuations, not only in your own personal finances, but perhaps the personal finances uh, of somebody that you're dealing with. So this could be a husband, a spouse, a partner, a family member, but it could also have to do with your job. Maybe the industry that you're working in is going through a bunch of crazy, chaotic financial times. Whenever Uranus enters Taurus, Taurus not only rules our own individual personal finances, but it rules banks, stock markets, insurance, um, um, annuities, property values. So all of these things are coming about. And so that's why I've been trying to uh, spread the warning of watching out for the Uranus in Taurus cycle because what happens on a global scale will eventually touch you on a personal scale. So for example, we know that right now there's a quote unquote tariff war going on between the United States and several other countries. So there are plenty of farmers now who can't sell their crops. Things are like pork, apples, uh, beef, um, motorcycles, steel, all of these things uh, will eventually touch you in your own pocket, even though you may not be a farmer, even though you may not have any steel stock, okay? You look at how many things that you own in your home or in your own life or that you may need to purchase that has steel components in it. That means things are going to be going up. So just because you don't see or you're not affected in a manner in which you can directly see it, trust me, it does affect you at some point and if not you then it's going to be somebody that you're dealing with so again this could be something about the, the industry that you're in is going through some kind of shake up and some kind of change because what i see here with this knight of pentacles um we see that we're he's he's coming in he's riding in and there is this great idea of abundance of wealth of prosperity that's what the empress represents uh she is about um sowing, planting seeds and nurturing those seeds to grow. I feel that for some of you, something, some kind of news or message has come in to kind of like take that away from you. Okay. 
here in the past I see that some kind of offer something that was I think no, this is a nine of wands. I thought it was a six. It's a nine of wands, so pardon me. So this is, in a way, something to do with your work. And your work is not necessarily uh, where you go for your nine to five. Your work could be the additional duties that you have to if you're a single parent or you're taking care of an elderly ill parent or an elderly member or maybe your spouse is ill right now. Maybe your spouse has lost their job or maybe they've had to take a cut in pay, right? But we see that something came in in, in a one a, in a work aspect um, where you were kind of hesitant, perhaps maybe about taking it. We see the person is sitting in the boat. All of the oars, though, he's got nine oars. What the hell? He can just go anywhere that he wants. But instead, he's leaning on the uh, what do you call that thing that the uh, steers the boat? The the um, I forget what it's called. Instead, he's kind of hanging on to that and kind of drifting along. In other words, I think it, it kind of has the energy that you're not exactly sure what to do, so you're just kind of waiting for the tide to turn. And I see that an offer comes in, but this offer has been kind of fickle and tentative, okay? Now... Here across the top, I think that whatever this, and I'm going to read this this nine of swords, it's two nines. Now, two nines typically uh, represent the idea of a possible home move or change of address. Perhaps it's due to some kind of um, structural issue, or maybe there really was a fire, or uh, maybe there's a flood. So, but two nines also speak to the idea of feeling isolated and alone in, in this, whatever this thing is that has perhaps cropped up for some of you that you may be dealing with. Um, and a home is not necessarily the sense of where you live and where you reside. You know, if you've been working at the same job for a number of years, that place feels like home as well. So this could also be a change in address in terms of maybe you moving from leaving one building uh, where you work in and going to another or maybe leaving that particular job or company and going to another we see that something comes in out of the blue and on the back side of that we, there's this message now the page of swords it's is a kind of a, a funny energy it does represent short distance trips siblings neighborhoods and communities and sometimes the page of swords uh can be uh energy that comes in quite suddenly and but it's not very good news right it falls under the the, the mercury card okay uh edge early early uh education from kindergarten up through high school okay um so maybe some of you might be dealing with children in in some aspect um maybe they're twins this, this is a lover's card and, and they the twins um, for others of you, this is a twin flame situation, um, something where the timing, something has completely just come in and kind of changed, um, the structure and the nature of it. Now, I feel that for some of you, there's a previous offer. And I feel that this offer is is still valid. But you are kind of in a place where you're not exactly sure what to do about it. The meaning of this lover's card in this deck is to be careful you are more attractive than you realize. Now, attraction is not necessarily about beauty. This is the idea that whatever you are putting out you uh, can attract back. This could be the idea of uh, having suddenly having more attention on yourself. We do know that Uranus will be is in retrograde about to move back into uh, Aries and Aries rules the first house of self, your name, your profile, your reputation, uh, your name brand, the brand that if you own a business, your brand itself, um, height, weight, shape, face, hair color, wardrobe, all of those things rule the first house. Um, and so 
I think there's some kind of choice. These cards here tell me that there's there's a sudden unexpected event. One in which I feel you are very hesitant about it. Um, the male part of this card seems to be A-OK. -okay, but there, the female is looking back over her shoulder. And not sure if exactly she's looking back over her shoulder as if to, in a state of question, or if it is the idea of looking back over her shoulder before she walks away into something else. So there's a huge decision coming here. Now, from the nine to the uh, page of swords gives me a 10 of swords. So we definitely know that something is changing. Tens represent a change. Typically when I see two knights in a reading, two knights can be uh, uh, the idea of some kind of um, hesitancy or concern surrounding a new partnership so this it's like kind of a trust issue thing maybe the idea is that you don't trust yourself to make the right judgment or maybe uh you have a slight concern about what the person wants from you more attractive than you know now let me take a look at um, the only card I can look at, oddly enough, are the Nine of Swords and the Nine of Wands. And they're, they're right behind each other. Okay? So, thoughts, perceptions, beliefs, ideas, communications versus drive, focus, ambition, motivation, determination. Okay? So either something comes in to kind of shake you out of that reverie of not moving, okay? Or something comes in that's going to um, kind of give you the impetus to do whatever it is you should be doing. But yet, here, we still have this um, lover's card. It is this row, this diagonal row of the Knight of Pentacles, the Tower, and the Lovers that really stand out the most for me. So let's take a look at um, what the, what the uh, if there's any messages of the Nine of Swords and the Nine of uh, Wands being next to any of these uh, major arcana cards here. So that's the Empress, the Tower, and the Lovers. <clears throat> Let's go directly to the um, Nine of Swords. I don't know if for some of you this might be some kind of legal issue in terms of a settlement. Maybe you've been waiting on some some news uh, of a settlement because we see this offer coming in. Let's take a look. Sometimes this could be a, a, a sudden accident. Uh, but one that is not as serious as it may first appear to be. And out of that, maybe you might be offered some kind of insurance settlement or payment or something. Um, right, the Nine of Swords tells me nothing. If this is a health issue, and you guys know I don't do health issues, but if this is a sudden... Um, physical ailment or or mental ailment where you've been feeling rather ill I, I do think there's going to be a speedy recovery okay um, it reads like for some of you that there's a disappointment something that you wanted that perhaps maybe you had planned on uh, there was a wrench thrown in it right doesn't mean that it's it's a it's a it's a um, no it just means that the conditions rapidly changed and now you've got to figure out what it is that you need to do. If this is you've been waiting on someone to perhaps help you, um, I do feel that there is, but there may be something that the person wants from you as well that you might not be willing to give. 
right? I, I don't know if that's making any sense. There's nothing here. Let me read to you the um, two uh, pages, I mean the two nights together, exactly what this means. <clears throat> It indicates mixed messages or signals and that cause you to doubt the sincerity of a male friend. Now, this male friend can be in a romantic uh, position, but also could be somebody who might be willing to help you in business or assist you in some way. It kind of reads as though, you know, help has been offered or will be forthcoming, but you're not sure about whether or not you should accept it. Let's see what's underneath the deck. It is the Queen of Wands. Now, that's a lot of damn people involved. <laughs> okay, for one thing, one, two, three, four people involved in this. And maybe these other people are on the periphery, right? Right. Um, and so I have these two queens as well. And typically uh, two queens could be a, a, a fight between you and a female friend. Um, <clears throat> but this could also be, I don't always like to look at the negative. I, I try to give you both uh, possibilities. So this could also be about the idea of two people, two females also coming together. Maybe there's a business thing. Maybe there's a project that you guys are trying to work on together. Um, but this could also be two different aspects of yourself. Maybe you have been a, a certain way or you've been grounded or you've been, been plodding along on, on the same path for so long. And then the tower comes in and say, okay, time for you to veer off for you to here. Let me change that for you. And it's going to require you to just get up and kick ass. <laughs> okay. It is this. I feel for some of you, particularly with this um, page here, there's two males, I, 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 I feel that, they're at cross purposes, they're two different energies, and I think they figure prominently in this and I feel that one of them um, perhaps even on a psychic level is working against you and what I mean by that is it's negative thought forms it's negative thought forms and, and what I'm getting is that one of these males um, I don't know, it's not pleased with either your lack of attention or what he feels that he's getting back from you. It's just the stance of the, the, the figure in the card that's coming across. And there's some decision. The person is not happy. This is what I'm, I'm getting. Um... And I do feel that there's a bit of concealed anger underneath this. So let's uh, take a look at what this Nine of Swords, Nine of Wands, and this Tower card are about. And then I'm going to pull these cards up and ask them uh, to give me perhaps a bit more clarity surrounding this. I don't know if that's possible. Please remember that this is a general reading, so these messages are not going to resonate with everyone. That does require a personal reading. And by the way, I have promotions going on 20% off on the 60-minute um, video reading and 35% off on uh, Akashic Records readings for those of you who may have been interested. Um, I don't offer promotions off on Akashic Records very often. So if you're interested in either one of those products or something else that I offer, you can find the my uh, website address uh, in the description box underneath the video, the about box channel of my section, uh, and um, click the link and go on over. 
Now, first thing I want to look at, because this tower is right in the center. Whatever this tower is, it completely breaks up this idea of just kind of waiting around for the other shoe to drop. And that's really not the way the energy, that's not the feeling that I'm getting. I just can't put it quite into the words of what it feels like. I will try to uh, see if I can access that. Maybe I'll be given a symbol. I don't know. Let's look at this Nine of Swords. The Dilidanti. Look. Isn't that something? See that? Look. <laughs> it's almost identical. Some kind of sadness, but the sadness is, is either through some kind of action or behavior that just it either didn't go well um, this implies someone who's drunk right and, 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 and they're walking home um, singing quite loudly assisting their friend so delirium is not necessarily always about um, substances it could very well be um, this night with this empress could be the idea of, of, of something coming in and you've been over indulging Pisces okay um, but delirium can also be that idea of like somebody being crazy about something you know indeed It is this person. So, um, if you've met someone new uh, that you don't know, or you've met someone that you don't know well, I think the person has uh, formed an attachment to you that I feel is stronger than you realize. And so, if you have not been... Uh, For whatever reason perhaps maybe you're just not feeling it they're not pleased about that so I think that you're gonna have to perhaps deal with this nine of wands amore the letter there's that offer and the vecchia signora now, normally this card speaks to like an aunt or a grandmother, but also a, a, an older acquaintance. So maybe you are an older person and the person is younger than you. But sometimes I see this, uh, particularly on this nine of wands, as the influence of moving very, very slowly. This person gives wisdom and guidance. And so I, I just kind of feel that it's like you, you've been moving very, very slowly through this. Why? Because there's some, there's, there's some issues here. We're, we're doubting the sincerity of the individual. I think the person is either wants you to make a decision or is waiting for you to make a decision. But honestly, he, the person is not pleased by the way things are going right now. And in a way, it kind of reads like... Um, On a third dimensional level, there is some harmony, because that's really what the Empress is about. It's about harmony and fairness and right relations. So on, on uh, these are Earth. So on the third plane, the third dimension, there is some kind of, of harmony between the two of you. I just don't think there's an emotional harmony or balance. Something is, it does not, it makes, it gives you pause. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm going to look at this tower card.
It also says that in the eyes of the, the individual, you've gone from an empress now down to a queen. Okay, so it's almost like they were putting you on some kind of pedestal, but that this was never kind of set in stone to begin with. Domestico. Giovanni Fanciulla. And the Falsita. Well, wow, that's interesting. Because the domestico is the servant. This is the person who helps you do things. Um, he runs errands for you. He does, but he can also be a collaborator. So in other words, there's something quite that not, that you can put your finger on, if you understand what I mean, about the individual. We are really not sure what he is all about. Now here is the Giovanni Fanciulla. The Giovanni Fanciulla speaks to, it says attraction to a young girl, okay? But the way she's coming across in this reading, it comes across as just this strong female. Oh, wow. There's four queens here. Right underneath that queen of wands was this. That's all the queens. Look at that. Nope, it's not. It's three queens. That's the empress. What are three queens? I think most people uh, call it gossip and fighting. Let me see. Let me let me check on that for you. <clears throat> First, we have two queens. So let me give you the meaning of two queens. <clears throat> Indicates that you participate in idle gossip. Two queens indicate short-lived trouble with a female friend. Three queens indicate that you may participate in idle gossip. So, I feel that maybe for some of you that might be true, but what I'm picking up is that this person, this male, is the one who's doing the talking. See? See? I think in, in some way he's either talking, he's definitely talking about you behind your back. The question is, whom is he talking to? Well, I really wouldn't worry about it too much. Um, because this is the moment of truth. It's a moment of clarity. It's a moment of, um, it's the epiphany, the aha moment. If that makes any sense. And maybe there is another female friend here. Someone. I want to look at this um, page of swords. Ah, oh, that falsy duck. desperate jealousy wow the Dona Maritata ah and the precious presence and this is what I'm getting this person really wanted this person wants a relationship with you the person and you for whatever your own reasons are, right? Are really not feeling this situation. They are not pleased about it. I think that they are speaking with another female, someone who may be interested in them. Uh, this could be you. So if you've, like I said, if you've met somebody new that you don't know well or really at all, 
there's somebody else in the background um, and everybody's working at cross these two people have different agendas from each other the male wants you the other female wants him the male is not pleased that you are not as interested in him as he is so this is kind of like a distraction for him so if you find yourself in this situation on this side of the coin know that um, what you are dealing with is not real and if you remember I said about self-worth and self-value it's kind of like it's saying you're gonna be wasting your time doing that uh, you are free to do whatever the hell you want to do for the person the female that the male is interested in um, he is wondering why it is either he hasn't heard from you or you're not behaving in the same manner that you were before or um, he's suspicious let's put it that way let's pull these cards up let's take a closer look at this quickly So something is happening underneath this full moon. Now, the 12th house is also the house of hidden enemies. <laughs> right? So there's definitely something going on in the background. And so if you've been feeling a bit out of sorts, um, if you've been, um, things have been feeling a kind, kind of weird, know that this is definitely... Um, mental energy attached to you these are negative thought forms being attached to you by this this other male this male that's what the conjure reading does this is what we we tend we I, we do a, a specialized reading and then we figure out how to um break the energy afford protection clear cut and put in protection um Sorry, those don't go on sale. That's a lot of damn work. <laughs> Four of Cups. There it is. I, I think he's waiting. He's waiting. And the truth is, I don't feel, you know, maybe you are playing games with the person. Maybe you are manipulating the person in some way, shape, or form. You want to be careful what you do. Remember, the card says you are more attractive than you realize. What you put out is what you get back. So be, be very careful with that. There's the devil. Here's the Ten of Swords. Whoa. Look, this is a serious attachment. This person is really attached to you. And sometimes I see that that devil card can show up when somebody is a bit obsessed. Okay? But it's a quiet obsession. The person's waiting. I don't know what they're waiting for. There's the high priestess. There's the world card. Wow. Here's the will of fortune. So two tens. There's that Queen of Cups. There's that King of Wands. And here's the Three of Wands. Now, this is what's so interesting to me about, about the second spread. The first spread kept giving off the energy that the, the male is... is I feel of an earth sign there was a really heavy energy around that um, and the reason why I say that's kind of funny is because I have these two big earth cards here there's the devil and there's the world card this is Saturn and this is Saturn but these two cards sit over this king of wands I feel that the male in the first spread
is loath to relinquish the connection that the person has with you. I feel that the calm energy, if you've been projecting calm energy or just kind of, um, in a sense, kind of remaining neutral, that is the best thing to do because this is going to pass. Most definitely, something else is coming in and changing this situation for you. Now, whether you are a water sign female or not this is a lot of water and this is all water here so what we're dealing with and again we're speaking about this full moon right so there's a lot of emotions happening here um and i think if you have been the female who's just been kind of taking it slow not making too many fast moves like the dilaranti not not jumping ahead sometimes that page of swords can be the idea of jumping to conclusions Okay, um, I think that for both of these females, this is who you represent, no matter what your sign is. Um, but it is this King of Wands who is going to step forward for you. I think the other male, who's this heavily earth sign male, um, is coming to the realization uh, that your interest is not as it was or should be. There's the hermit, there's our Virgo card. Remember? Opposition. And that's what opposites are. The moon opposite the sun. That's a female opposite a male. <laughs> okay. Um, remember I was talking about twin flames? Maybe you're the twin flame. You know? Maybe as the female, you are the twin flame. A lot of times people are like, oh yeah, I'm my twin flame. But if you've got a twin flame, guess what? You're a twin flame too. <laughs> right? Again, three major arcana cards. Oh, four this time. Ooh, four this time. Yes. The two tens here. Speak to either a career change for the better or financial change for the better. Um, um, but definitely it's a way of life. It's, it's, it's about to change. Brought about through, you see, it's almost like it's, it's on... It's been on hold, and here you've been waiting and waiting. I don't know if this is you waiting for somebody to come back around. Maybe that's what this is. Maybe this person has come back, this this king of wands. Maybe the person came back at a time when you were perhaps maybe dating or seeing that earth sign male, and he does read like an earth sign male, that first spread. So let me... Um, Take a look. I think there's some other... There's a lot of stuff going on, but it's it's more going on with that earth sign, the person that I was referring to in the first reading than here with this reading. I, I feel as though I'm not making any sense, but y'all know those of you who are recognizing parts of this situation know exactly what I'm talking about. So, um... Okay. two, three, four, and two tens. So the four of cups next to the wheel of fortune tells them a new direction and new interest coming about usually within a fortnight. That's 14 days. It asks you to become fully involved as this will lead to a beneficial outcome for all concerned. There it is. This is about embracing it, stepping wholly into the emotional into the ocean. That's what it is. Um, 
Next to the Wheel of Fortune, the Four of Cups tells of a new interest coming up over the next 14 day cycle and implies that involvement is imperative. That's what I just said. And I think you guys sense it. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I think some of you do sense that there's a, a, a change coming. Something that's going to be huge for you. And huge uh, could be anything for you. <laughs> okay? So don't be looking at me like, oh my God, maybe I'm going to win the lotto. I don't know. Hell. I'm just a card reader. Four of Cups with the Hermit. Tells of a gentle inner peace and personal satisfaction and fulfillment coming into your life. That cycle is about to end. It tells of peace and satisfaction that surrounds and encompasses you. It brings a message that solitude will bring about spiritual enlightenment. And I think that's what those two nines. Remember I said those two nines could be that you need a moment by yourself. And that's this energy. And I think the other person has not been giving you that space. It kind of almost reads like the person's been bugging you. I don't know if that's true or not. Let's take a look at this Ten of Swords here. Then we're going to pull Sibylas. And then I'm going to close it out with a Heart Oracle Tarot. I've got somebody coming over for a cleaning session. So I have to move this along. Two tens tell of a spread for... Uh, tell of a career change for the better the other two tens is a change in the end of a relationship or the end of a phase in a relationship and I think for some of you this is literally ending a relationship and also it's the change of the nature of another kind of relationship I don't know if that makes any sense to you all right <clears throat> ten of swords with the hermit Indicates that a great deal of thorough examination and consideration is needed prior to taking on future activities and plans. There is a need for deep thought and contemplation and it is a message to consider all future activities before taking any action. That's why there's a pause here. Now I'm going to look at this three of wands. And then I'm going to read you the meanings of each of these cards, okay? Um, as you know, each deck has its own language. Here's the Three of Wands. So this this is, your, I feel that your chart will be triggered um, over this next uh, 14 days. And so there's a change coming that may go all the way out to when Jupiter changes signs. It leaves Scorpio and goes into its ruling sign of Sagittarius, and that's in November. With the Three of Wands, the um, High Priestess with the Three of Wands, it is indicating that achieving your spiritual goals, to achieve your spiritual goals, as this will give you a deeper understanding and enlightenment and will ultimately awaken your intuitive abilities. With the Wheel of Fortune, tells you that a positive attitude will bring about positive results. Let's go to the to the cards. What I want to do is I want to look at this uh, oh wait, let me first read to you the meanings of each one of these cards. So bear with me a second. I had the maintenance people here for several hours my AC went out of course it did four of cups you may be disenchanted and soured to new possibilities there's beauty even in sadness even if you need a period of quiet reflection before you carry on the keywords are renewal rejuvenation restoration and refreshment the devil you can rest assured that your physical existence is safe and your reputation is solid so if some of you have been dealing with gossip and people backbiting and talking don't worry about it it says you can rest that your physical existence is safe and your reputation is solid but how about your soul and how is your conscience 
Do not fall prey to lies and deceit. Free yourself from any bonds that chain you too tightly to this earth. The keywords are materialism, temptation, obsession, scapegoating, and the shadow. And I feel that this has to do with that, that other male that kind of surface. But you see what's interesting is, is he didn't present as a king. He presented as knights and pages. And there you were, the emperor, the empress, right? And maybe that's what it was. It's that unequality in the relationship and not one based on necessarily finances and what you own or don't own, but just that the feeling of inequality was there. You're not on the same quote unquote level. Okay. And I don't mean that in an ugly way. A lot of times people will get bent out of shape. This could be, you're not on the same emotional level or the same mental level or the same physical level. Um, it, it just speaks to differences. Here is the 10 of swords. Try to find shelter or shade because you're about to get burned. Luckily, the sun moves swiftly. And if you get out of the way in time, you'll heal quickly. So that's why I think this card has come out. You, you have, I think, rightly so, intuitively so, kind of gone to ground and become rather silent. I think that's a good idea. I do feel that at some point you should, if given, uh, let this energy pass that you can let the person know, hey, whatever. Okay, but I think right now, intuitively, if this is what you have done, then you see the, the diagonal here, that's going to, you'll, you'll get a chance to fix this. It says defeat, disruption, distress, and exhaustion. And what I mean by fixing it is, you know, it's never good to leave somebody hanging. And if you've been hanging, uh, you've ever been left hanging, you know how that shit feels, right? So. But then again, like I said, you you grown, you can do whatever you want. You ain't got to say shit if you don't want to. Okay, so here is the high priestess. It says, the cycles of life you are experiencing are natural and completely predictable. If you need confirmation of that fact, ask an older woman for advice. The key words are mysteries, secrets, wisdom, intuition, and second sight. The world card. You have reached a point of completion and success. Celebrate your victories, large and small, and prepare for the start of a new adventure. The keywords are accomplishment, celebration, commemoration, commencement, and reward. And I would dare say that that is so true. Here is the Wheel of Fortune. Go ahead and put some money on the horses. Just don't bet more than you can afford to lose. You might not go home wealthy, but fortune's greatest gifts are long life, good health, and the wisdom to understand the lessons of love and loss. The key words are fate, fortune, destiny, luck, chance, and karma and I do feel that this has to do with this king of wands returning this tells me that there is a, a, a profound connection between the two of you and so this is like a second chance and I think what the cards are saying is that don't be afraid to take a risk okay but I think you already know that the queen of cups She is the perfect wife and mother. Now, remember, we saw that Dona Maritata come out. She highlights your nurturing qualities, artistic vision, and intuitive abilities. The keywords are nurturing, healing, protection, and empathy. So remember when I said at the beginning, for you, no matter what your sign is, if you know this situation and you recognize yourself in it, you are this person to both those males. I don't care if you are a um, an air sign female, okay? This is who you represent to these two males. But you are more in line on a spiritual and an emotional level with one of these persons than you are anything else. The other person, it's mainly just a third dimensional attraction. Okay? And again, there's, you know... 
nothing wrong with that but you know are you selling out your soul just to have somebody you know love you or care or pine after you or be obsessed with you I don't know <coughs> think about that here is the king of wands so that's why I say if, if you've been kind of dragging your feet and dealing with this individual wait a few days and you will get an opportunity to to to, to clear this out of the way okay king of wands you can expect your work to be defended even if you have to meet out your own justice form of justice the key words are discernment dignity leadership pride courage and heart so this could also be you embodying that energy but this is most definitely a fire sign male leo aries or sagittarius most definitely and the three of wands your ship is about to come in. You're at the top of your game and you're visible to the people you want to attract, which I find to be interesting falling in that card where the be careful, you are more beautiful than you realize card. You have the skill to navigate the most treacherous waters. The keywords are confidence, courage, optimism, and reward. That's two cards of rewards, three cards of rewards that, you're, <laughs> that you've been presented with here. Now, I'm going to read the Hermit because the Hermit is over this whole uh, reading. And remember, it goes back to mind, body, spirit, right? Work, service, and duty. And I really think this is a changing value system in some way. And it comes through some kind of partnership. Here is the Hermit. Now is the time to venture out alone. Now is a good time to venture out alone or lose yourself in a crowd. Do not fear solitude. You do your best thinking in silence. The key words are insight, introspection, meditation, philosophy, prudence, and deliberation. And I feel this is why you have assumed this posture. Now, we're gonna take a quick look. I want to look at this devil card because that's a passing influence. I think this person, the other person is still attached to you in some way. And maybe some of you have felt like you didn't want to hurt the person's feelings or maybe you kind of you know, hedging your bets, so to speak. Well, if this doesn't work out, I still got old boy hanging on the side. <laughs> well, although you know old boy on the side ain't really the old boy that you want to be with, okay? This pacete, this pacete, the anxiety, the worry, the tears, the fear. The reunion, the meeting and or the job interview. So this is telling me that you've been worried about this. Um, and falling on that ten of swords, you already know that that's not what you want to do. Friend zone. It's more of a friendship than it is a romantic relationship. And I think the other person wants a romantic relationship with you. Let's pull a... Um, You know, for others of you, I think you're going to have problems with this individual for a, perhaps a bit more time. Um, wow, this is a whole hour. I didn't realize that. This card wants to present itself. It's already pulled itself out. It's an Eight of Wands. This will move along quite rapidly over the next 14 days success and growth I think for many of you this is something else is going to come in and just kind of sweep everything off the map the card says accomplishment speed resolution and progress the energy of manifestation is around you now and you are being moved forward in a positive way stay focused on your heart when this card appears success is at hand and it may happen quickly your past efforts are being rewarded this is a time of new flourishing relationships and successful resolutions to conflict and struggle. 
This is also an ideal period for greater understanding and personal growth. So listen expectantly for messages that will help you see yourself and others in a fresh and positive light. These messages can come from anywhere, your spirit guides, nature books, or even a television program. They bring new beliefs about love and what is possible. Old ways of thinking and being are coming to an end. So plant those, plant these new ideas as seeds and watch them take root. So that's what I have for you. I do hope those messages helped you. Again, I do have a, a promotion going on, so head on over to the website. Uh, go to underneath where it says the gift certificates because that's where you're going to be able to uh, access the, the promotions there. Um, for the 60-minute video, and if you go there and click on it, um, you'll have to click around. Um, if you put in the code, uh, and I didn't give you the code. The code for the 60-minute um, reading is confirm 20 and the code for the Akashic Records readings is get clear. So when you get there, scroll down to the bottom, you'll see have a code, put the code in, and then go back up, find your product, and click it, and it will automatically apply the discount for you. So that's what I have for you. Um, if you don't understand or you got a question, you can always hit me up on the support by using the support desk link on the main menu of my website, and then I'll get back in touch with you. So until next time, thank you for allowing me to read for you, and namaste.